So this will be my first response video. Six plus Devo, this one's for you. So if you haven't checked out 6 Plus Stevo's channel, I have no idea what you're doing. Pause this video right now, head over to his channel, I'll put a link in the description down below to his top 5 melee weapons video, and you guys can go over there and subscribe to him, he has fantastic orc content, and this is all in fun. So coming in at number 5, we have the Erdy Syringe. It is probably not one that you would expect in a top five melee weapons list. But the reason why I've put it in here is because, one, you get an additional attack with your pain boy. So that's going to give him five attacks. It's just a base strength of a five, no AP and one damage. But the reason why he's ear is because he always wounds on a four plus unless targeting a vehicle or titanic unit. The Erdy Syringe can be a viable option, especially when you're coming up against certain things such as uh, Terminators or anything that's really difficult to kill. Not saying you're going to want your pain boy in combat with these guys, but in a pinch, it's uh, you're going to be able to wound no matter what it is on a 4-up, as long as it's not a vehicle or titanic unit. So let's think about that for a second. Now, let's say you're going to come up against a Space Marine character, for example. Now, Marines have very good saves, and they can be hard to kill depending on what you've got you're coming up against. But let's just take a uh, Primaris Captain or something, for example, like that. It doesn't matter what you are, how tough you are, or what kind of uh, save you have. If I roll a 4+, plus, you're going to have to try to save that wound. So it is a great option. You're able to wound everything on a 4-up, and in a pinch, it can be a very, very viable, good option. It looks cool, and the lore behind it is fantastic. You're just going to stab somebody with a big, rusty needle, and I'm sorry, even if you, uh, you, you take a wound or whatever, tetanus will eventually get you. I mean, I don't care how many hearts and lungs and kidneys you've got. Marines, I'm pretty sure tetanus is still going to qualify. So uh, let's keep the rust going and see what we have coming in at number four. All right, so here we are with the Burna. Now, again, you probably wouldn't expect to see this in a melee list, but... You're still normal strength, so just a strength 4 with your Burna, but it's got a minus 2 to your AP and 1 damage. It's that minus 2 that got this weapon in. I run Burna Boys quite often, and I don't mind once they get into combat, because by the time they've gotten there, they've already hopefully done their flaming job, and now they're just going in as a suicide unit into melee because they are still fairly squishy, and chances are you're going to have nothing around, such as a pain boy or a KFF, to give them any hope. So once they get into melee, they are going to have two attacks each, and it's this minus two AP that is extremely attractive to me in combat. Burna boys are a, a, a favorite unit of mine, and taking them into combat, most opponents do not realize that they have minus two to their AP. So they don't think too much of it when they get start getting in close. But I'm telling you, Burna's in a melee list is a very good option. You mitigate your poor shooting with auto hits. You charge in, get your minus two AP. You scorch them, then you slash them. It works for me. I'm a big, big fan. Number four, the Burna. And number three is the Faithful Choppa. Now, you're going to get an additional attack every for every model that takes a Choppa. Just like 6 plus Stevo has said, in a squad of 30 boys, this will add 30 extra attacks. 
and it is a massive dice roll. You're going to be throwing out many, many attacks. You're going to need a pile of dice, a dice tray. The chopper is reliable. It, yes, it's got no AP and only a single damage, but with the amount of attacks that your boys are going to throw through, getting that extra attack per model is pretty important when you're running a melee list. The chopper is very, very good, very reliable, very stock standard. Now, the majority of my boys carry slug of choppas. Choppa at number three, right in the middle of the field, I think is a pretty fair evaluation for this weapon. Big, big fan. Let's see what comes in. Number two. So coming in with number two is the Choppa's big brother, the big Choppa. Now, this was some good figuring out when it came to terminology uh, for the orcs. When you have a choppa, and next to it is something that's a bigger one, but it's still a choppa, clearly, it's a big choppa. A++ on naming for this weapon, and the reason why it's got in at number two is because it's coming in at a plus two strength, which means you are going to be running a strength seven, minus one AP, and flat two damage. That two damage is so reliable. I am a big fan. I really enjoy big choppas. They're a cheap unit as well, or cheap weapon as well at five points. So they're inexpensive for what they do for that plus two strength, minus one, and two damage. It's very much worth running your knobs with a big choppa. I'd really see no downsides. There's no negatives to hit on here. It's just reliable consistent you know what you get says what it does on the tin and there you go it's a big choppa coming in at number two and now before we hit number one though we need to have an honorable mention and here it is the kill saw honorable mention goes to the kill saw times two strength so you're getting uh, strength 10 minus four ap and two damage now, obviously, the reason why this has a honorable mention is because of this minus 4 AP. The 2 damage, I do like. I do like the consistency of that, um, but it's that minus 4 that really, really throws this in there as an option. You have to take one away from your hit rolls, yes. Um, and if this model has 2 kill saws, you add an extra attack, but that is going to be one expensive dude. Kill saw is the reason why it's not on my list officially and it's only in an honorable mention is because of the points cost. It is too high in points. I would like to run them more often, but unless I'm mistaken, I believe they are 15 points each and that's just too much. That's two boys worth. Uh, it, it's, it's too much for me to run. I would like to but at 15 points, I have a really hard time justifying fitting that into my list. But it's good enough for an honorable mention, and now we go to number one. Nobody can dispute the number one power claw. Everybody knows it. Everybody loves it. Times two to your strength. Minus three AP, D3, wounds. That I'm not such a fan of. I prefer... Uh, more reliable wounding, but the potential that the power claw can put out at uh, 13 points is pretty good. Being able to get all those attacks in and getting D3 wounds each, you have the potential to do a ton of damage there. There's not much to say about the power claw that hasn't been said already by everybody else. The biggest thing I hate about the power claw, though, is the minus one to hit. If you're anything like me, you can roll threes like nothing. But when it comes to melee and rolling fours on a power claw, ah, I hate it. I miss them all the time. Uh, I more often than not, I'm taking big choppers in my uh, for my knobs and such. But um, you know, the, the power claw is too good not to have it number one, even with that minus one to hit. It's, uh, like I said, there's nothing more to say about this weapon that hasn't been said already. It's great, and it does exactly what it needs to. 
Now, with the list I made, I just wanted to use uh, options that are available to regular units. So no gubbins, no special nothings. It's just your melee, straight-up melee weapons. Uh, normal list. Um, there are definitely things like the Headwap is Kill Choppa that I am personally a big fan of. Being able to uh, roll sixes when you're wounding with that and getting two mortal wounds... I mean, what's not to like about that? Uh, the Killer Claw is also fantastic. It takes away that minus one for hitting when it comes to the Power Claw. So I didn't want to include any Shiny Gubbins or things like Gazgol's Custom Claw, anything like that, because I just wanted to keep it as... If you have an Orc Army, you can run any of these here. You don't need any special characters, uh, like Gazgol, for example. You don't need uh, to worry about spending points on gubbins. This is just your bare basic stock stuff. So yes, the Killer Claw is should be number one on everybody's list. Headwapas Kill Choppa is also really high up there for me. But this is just your basic look in the back of your book melee weapons list. And as a golf player, I couldn't just sit back and let a bad moon try to tell us what the best melee weapons are. They're all about their flashy daka daka daka, shooting everything down from afar, you know, staying away so they don't get messy and get the pony ends in them. But you know what? Goffs, we rush in, we chop what's there, and we shoot just for the noise. We don't care if we hit nothing, we're there to wreck your face. And once again, guys, this is just all for fun. I'm a big fan of 6 Plus Stevo's channel. So go, once again, go over and check him out. Check out his channel. Subscribe. Leave a comment down below on what you agree or disagree with in my list. And uh, we will go from there. I will see you guys in the next video.